With the second derivative test, it is easy to determine whether a critical point is a local maximum, a local minimum, or a saddle point. We will now explore the rules that let us perform this test on a multivariable function, and then do one example. Based on the definiteness of the Hessian matrix, the nature of the critical point can be determined very easily. When the Hessian of a function at the critical point is positive definite, or in other words, when every eigenvalue of the Hessian is a positive number, it can be concluded that the critical point is a local minimum. Whenever every eigenvalue of the Hessian is negative at the critical point, meaning that Hessian is the negative definite matrix, the critical point is a local maximum. In case we have at least one positive eigenvalue, and at least one negative eigenvalue, the Hessian is said to be indefinite. In such a case, the critical point can be concluded to be a saddle point. However, if Hessian is of other definiteness, such as positive semi-definite or negative semi-definite, the second derivative test is inconclusive. Let's now do an example, where given a function at its critical point, we determine what kind is that critical point. Consider the following function. We are given, that the critical point of this function is at, 1, 1. Our task, is to determine whether this critical point, is a local maximum, a local minimum, or a saddle point. To accomplish this, first we need to find the Hessian of this function, at that critical point. Once we've done it, we need to find the definiteness of this Hessian. Definiteness of a matrix is determined based on its eigenvalues. The trace of this Hessian is 14, and the determinant is 24. Eigenvalues need to be such numbers, that add up to 14, and multiply it to 24. 2, and 12, are such numbers. Since the eigenvalues of this Hessian are all positive, it is a positive definite matrix. Which means, that the critical point is a local minimum. If the Hessian was a negative definite matrix, critical point would have been a local maximum. In case it was indefinite matrix, we would have had a saddle point. For any other case, the test would have been inconclusive.